Oh yeah. There we go. Let's see what we got. Hey guys, welcome back to the Abbey Mass Fishing YouTube channel. And today I'm going to be fishing for some winter flounder. Striped bass was the main goal, and we are gonna go fishing for striped bass, but right now it's middle of the day and striped bass fishing is not very good. So we got some bloodworms, so we're gonna toss some lines out with some small hooks. See if we can pick up a few winter flounder. Let's see what we can get. Wait for the winter flounder. Got some nasty bloodworms. Not great shape at all, but usually doesn't matter. Wanna see what we can get. Just two blood worms, some high low hooks. Small hooks usually work well for winter flounder. So hopefully the winter flounder, we've talked to two guys now and they both said they went it limited out. So they've said another guy down from us is catching a bunch of winter flounder. So right now I'm just rigging it up. We're gonna see what we can get. Striper fishing comes later, winter flounder fishing comes right now. We're not prepared for this, so I'm gonna be using my surf casting striper pole, which is not very fit for this at all. We're gonna see how it works. Just gonna cast out not too far. Let's see what we can get. Back to you guys then. Dad's on. It's a keeper too. First one to find of the day. Nice. See how many more we can get. 12 inches. Here we go, guys. Beautiful winter flounder. Nice. A core. Is that 12 inches to me? I'll bet you, yeah. That looks 12 inches to me. See what we can get, guys. They're 12 inches to keep. Guys, it's such a nice day out. 65 degrees in November. You don't get it like that. That's not normal. Rig's all ready to go. See how many. See if I can land a winter flounder. I have. It's not a new species for me, but we're hopefully going to be able to land one. See what we can get. Picking up slowly, moving it. Oh, I might have one. Right. Hopefully, we can get some more. Okay guys, my dad's bleeding out the fish right now. It was 13 inches, 12 inches to keep. We got three more and then we got a limit of winter flounder. It's another keeper. Another winter flounder for my guys, for my dad guys. I haven't got one. It's a second, that looks short. But, he's short I think. Oh 
Okay. He's big enough, guys, but we're going to toss him back. Not quite big enough for our standards. But hopefully we can get some more. Okay, guys, so I just hit my first fish. So I'll, t I'll show you what we're doing. Casting out not too far. Pick up slowly. Let down. If we feel any sort of shake or tap, you don't set the hook we're going to flounder. You just pull up slowly, and they'll start to the fight. Don't set the hook. You'll rip it right away from them. So hopefully we can get some more. We have two. One keeper. The other one was a keeper, but we decided to throw it back. Hopefully that's a good omen. So, so how many more we can get. Okay, guys, I think I might have a fish. Nope. I think I missed him. I had a pretty serious thud. No fish. Hey, right, cast back out and see if we can get an, see if we can get one to show you guys. Go. Let's go. My dad's on here. That's a keeper. There we go. Thirteen. Thirteen inches. Yeah. Okay. Thir another, another winter flounder. Nice. I'll give you scissors. Getting a bite here, guys. Flo, come back. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's see what we got. So, nice one. There we go. My first one of flounder of the day. Headed to the beach. Oh, he's fat, too. Yeah, he's fat. There we go, guys. Four winter flounder, limited out. Head to the beach, try to try our luck on some striped bass. See you then.